In our lives, have you ever stopped to think about how much what we say can really change things for us, especially when it comes to feeling good and doing well? What if I told you that there are studies out there that show our words can actually make a big difference in how happy and healthy we are? And imagine if there were six special words that could really turn things around for you. Would you be interested in knowing what they are? You're watching Wisdom in Real Life, and today, we're going on an exciting adventure into the world of words. We're going to see how being careful with what we say can make our lives and the lives of people around us a whole lot better. We'll mix the wise teachings of Buddha with what scientists have found out about our words to show you something pretty amazing. Our journey is packed with cool stuff to find out. Like, did you know there's a way to talk that can actually make you and others feel more at peace? We'll share stories that show just how powerful words can be and give you some tips on how to use your words to bring more happiness and success into your life. But wait, there's more. We'll also dive into what science says about the words we use and how they affect us. Imagine finding out that certain words can change the way your brain works, making you feel better or worse. We'll uncover these secrets together and even introduce you to six special words that could change your life. We're also going to tackle how to break free from the trap of saying things we wish we hadn't and how to use our words to fix things and make them better. Plus, we'll explore ways to be more genuine in how we communicate, even in a world that often seems full of make-believe. And here's the best part. We want you to join in, share your thoughts, tell us your stories, and let's see how we can all get better at this together. We'll look at how being kind and understanding in the way we talk can not only mend friendships, but also bring people closer together. This isn't just about listening. It's about doing something with what we learn. We're here to take these ancient teachings and science-backed tips and actually use them in our everyday lives. So, we're inviting you to stick with us to the very end of this video. Reflect on what you hear, think about how it applies to you, and see the difference it can make. And if you find this journey as exciting as we do, please hit that like button and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. Your likes and subscriptions help us share this journey with more people just like you. So, are you ready to see how changing the way you talk can change your life? Let's jump right in and discover together how powerful our words really are. 1. The Essence of Right Speech in Buddhism Right speech is a really cool idea from Buddhism. It's like being told that every word we say can plant a seed. Some seeds can grow into beautiful trees that spread shade and fruits, while others might not grow well and can make things pretty messy. So, right speech teaches us to choose our words so they do good things, like making someone smile or helping a friend feel better. Let's think about our words as bridges. These bridges can either help us get closer to people or create a big gap that's tough to cross. Right speech helps us build strong, safe bridges with our words. It's about talking truthfully, saying things in a nice way, and making sure our words bring people together. But how do we actually do this? It starts with something called being mindful. This means we really think about what we're going to say before we say it, it's like looking both ways before crossing the street. Being mindful helps us choose words that are true, nice, and really helpful. Sometimes when we're mad or upset, this can be hard. But it's like learning how to ride a bike. It gets easier the more we do it. In our world today, we talk a lot without actually speaking, like when we text or use social media. Right, speech is super important here too. Before we send a message, it's a good idea to think about how the person on the other end will feel when they read it. It's kind of like thinking, would I say this to their face? Or will this make them smile? Guess what? Science says that being nice with our words isn't just good for others, it's good for us too. When we say kind things, it can make us feel happier and more connected to the people around us. It's like a happiness loop. The more nice things we say, the better we feel, so we keep saying nice things. Let's try something together. 
For one week, let's pay more attention to the things we say. Notice if you feel different or if the people around you react differently. You might find that your words have more power than you think to make things better. Imagine if everyone tried to use right speech. It would be like living in a place where every day feels sunny and warm because everyone is being kind and understanding. We can start building this kind of place right now just by being careful with our words. Right. Speech is all about choosing words that are honest, nice, helpful, and bring people together. It means being careful with what we say and how we say it, making sure we're adding something good to the world. It's not just about not saying bad things. It's about actively making things better with what we say. So let's keep this idea with us. Every single word we say is a chance to do something good. By thinking more about our words, we can make a big difference, not just in our own lives, but in the whole world. Let's use this chance to spread kindness and see the amazing things that can happen. Two, the power of words on health and prosperity. Have you ever thought about how powerful your words are? They're not just sounds or letters. They're like magic spells we cast every day. These spells can do amazing things, like help us feel better when we're sick, or even bring us good luck and success. It's like we have a superpower, and it's all in what we say. Let's start with how saying nice things can make us feel really good. It's like when someone gives you a compliment, and you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But it's not just about feeling nice for a little while. Being positive and saying kind words can actually help keep us healthy. Scientists have found that when we're positive and happy, our bodies work better. We can fight off colds easier and even feel less stressed. It's as if our words wrap us in a protective bubble. And it's not just about keeping the doctor away. Our words can help us do well in life too. When we talk about what we want to achieve in a hopeful and positive way, it's like we're giving ourselves a pep talk. It helps us believe we can do anything we set our minds to. It's like if you keep saying you can ace a test, you start to really believe it. And then, guess what? You study more, feel more confident, and do better. Our words are so powerful they can even change our brain. Yes, really. When we focus on saying positive things, it's like our brain gets a good workout and starts to see the world in a brighter light. It's training your brain to be a happiness athlete. But guess what? This superpower doesn't just work for us. It works for everyone around us, too. When we use our words to cheer someone on or to say something kind, we help others feel brave and happy. It's like being a superhero for people around us, boosting their confidence and helping them succeed. So how do we make sure we're using this superpower for good? It's all about thinking before we speak. We can ask ourselves, is what I'm about to say nice? Is it true? Is it helpful? This way, we make sure our words are like little seeds that grow into beautiful flowers, spreading positivity and growth everywhere. And here's something really cool. Talking positively can also help us when things get tough. If we look at problems with a hopeful outlook, we can find solutions more easily and keep our spirits up. It's like turning a rainy day into a chance to dance in the puddles. Imagine if everyone talked like this. We could make the whole world a happier, healthier place just with our words. So, let's try an experiment. Let's be more careful about what we say about ourselves and others for a whole week. See if you notice any changes in how you feel and how people react to you. You might be amazed by what happens. In the end, our words have the power to shape our health, our success, and even the happiness of the world around us. Every time we speak, we have a choice. Let's choose to use our words to spread joy, encouragement, and kindness. Because when we do, we open up endless possibilities for ourselves and for others. Let's make our words count and watch as our world transforms into a brighter, more wonderful place. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. Scientific Evidence on the Impact of Words Isn't it amazing to think that what we say could actually change our brains? Yes, scientists have been looking into this and found out some really cool stuff. 
They say that when we use happy, positive words a lot, it's like our brain gets a good kind of makeover. It starts to work better, making us feel happier and more creative. It's like our words can turn on a light in our minds, showing us new ideas and solutions we didn't see before. And there's more good news. Talking positively doesn't just make us feel better in our heads. It can also make our bodies feel better. Studies have shown that when we say and think nice things, we can actually help keep ourselves from getting sick. It's like our words are a superhero cape that helps protect us from catching a cold or feeling stressed out. But what if you're not really feeling all that positive? Well, the cool thing is, just trying to use positive words can still help. It's a bit like smiling even when you're not in the best mood. After a little while, you might start to feel a bit happier. Our brains pick up on the effort we're making and give us a little boost. Now think about how this works when we're around other people. When we talk in a happy, positive way, it can actually make the people around us feel better too. It's as if our words are little gifts of cheer that we can give to our friends and family, making their day a little brighter. But how does all this happen? There's something in our brains called mirror neurons. They help us understand and copy what we see and hear. So, when someone is kind to us, our mirror neurons light up and we're more likely to be kind back. It's like a domino effect of kindness, started by just a few nice words. And here's something really interesting. Being positive with our words can even help us do better in life. Whether it's at school, work, or in our personal goals, having a sunny outlook can really make a difference. It's as if our positive words set the stage, making it easier for us to succeed. However, just like positive words can help us, negative words can do the opposite. They can make us feel stressed or sad because they trigger a kind of alarm in our brains. That's why it's so important to think before we speak, choosing our words carefully to keep things bright and positive. The great news is, anyone can learn to be more positive in how they talk. It's like exercising. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And as we get better at using positive words, we start to attract more good vibes into our life. It's a wonderful cycle that keeps on giving. So, why not join me in a little experiment? Let's try to add a bit more sunshine to our words, whether we're talking to someone, sending a text, or just thinking to ourselves. You might be surprised by how much of a difference it makes, not just for you, but for everyone around you. In the end, what the science tells us is pretty clear. Our words are powerful. They can brighten up our minds, make our bodies healthier, help us achieve our dreams, and spread happiness to the people we care about. Let's use this incredible power for good, filling our world with positive words and enjoying all the wonderful things that come from it. It's one of the simplest but most powerful changes we can make. Four, the six transformative words. Think of a world where six simple words could magically change things for the better. These aren't just any words, but special keys that unlock happier lives and stronger connections with people around us. Let's take a look at these six amazing words and see how they can help us make a big, positive difference in our world and in ourselves. First, we have please. This little word is like a magic wand that makes asking for something feel friendlier and nicer. It shows we have good manners and respect for the person we're talking to, turning a command into a kind request. It's a way of knocking on someone's door softly instead of barging in. Then comes thank you. Just imagine how happy and valued someone feels when we say these words. It's like giving them a warm smile or a pat on the back, saying we appreciate what they've done for us. And the cool thing? When we make someone else feel good, that good feeling bounces back to us too. Sorry is another powerful word. Sometimes we mess up or hurt someone's feelings, even if we didn't mean to. Saying sorry is how we mend fences. It's our way of showing we care more about the person than just being right. It's like fixing a broken toy, so it's good as new. Asking for help is really brave. It shows we're smart enough to know when we need a hand and that we're open to growing. It also gives someone else the chance to be a hero by helping us out. It's like reaching out for a hand when we're trying to climb a steep hill. 
I understand, are two words that can build bridges between hearts. When we say this, it's like telling someone, I get where you're coming from. It doesn't mean we always have to agree, but it shows we're listening and that we care. It's a way of sharing an umbrella in the rain. Lastly, there's yes. This little word is a big door opener to new adventures and friends. It's about being brave and saying, we're ready to give things a go, even if they seem scary or new. Yes is the word that helps us grow, learn, and make memories. These six simple words, please, thank you, sorry, help, I understand, and yes, can do so much good. They can make people feel respected, appreciated, forgiven, supported, understood, and included. By using these words every day, we spread kindness and positivity like confetti. But how do we make sure to use these words all the time? It starts with being mindful. It's like being a detective for kindness, always on the lookout for chances to use our six magical words. The more we use them, the more beautiful our world becomes, filled with smiles, thanks, and helping hands. Using these words isn't just about being nice to others. It changes us for the better too. Each time we choose one of these words, it's like we're choosing the sunny side of the street for ourselves as well. It makes our heart a little lighter and our smile a little brighter. Now, let's pause and think. When was the last time you used one of these magical words? How did it feel? How did the other person react? Remembering these moments can inspire us to use these words even more. Let's dream of a world where everyone uses these six special words every day. It would be a place full of kindness, thanks, apologies, offers of help, understanding, and brave yeses. We have the power to help create that world, starting with our own words and actions. So, why not join me in a little challenge? Let's try to use please, thank you, sorry, help, I understand, and yes, as much as we can. Watch for chances to sprinkle these words into your day and see the magic they bring. It's amazing how such small words can make a big difference, turning our world into a happier, friendlier place. Let's use these keys to unlock the best in everyone, including ourselves. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 5. Overcoming Negative Speech Patterns have you ever caught yourself saying things that sound a bit down or negative, almost like there's a little rain cloud above your head dropping those words? Well, the great news is, we can all learn to push that cloud away and let some sunshine out with what we say. Here's a friendly guide on how we can switch those gloomy speech habits into sunny ones, lighting up our own day and everyone else's around us. First, it's like playing detective with your own words. Notice when you're about to say something that isn't too cheerful and pause. It's a bit like stopping the music before it hits a note you don't like. Once you get good at spotting these moments, you can choose to say something a bit brighter instead. Imagine your words are paintbrushes and you're painting your day. Instead of using grays and blacks when you talk about challenges, try using colors that feel a bit happier. So, instead of saying something is impossible, you might say, this looks tough, but I wonder how we can figure it out. It's about seeing a puzzle, not a dead end. Sometimes we get stuck in a loop, like a song that keeps playing the same not-so-happy tune, focusing on things that annoy us. Here's a fun twist. Try talking about things that make you smile or feel grateful instead. It's like changing the channel to find a show that makes you laugh. Sharing kind words with others is like sending out little paper boats of happiness. When you make someone else feel good with what you say, that good feeling sails right back to you. It's a way of finding the sunny side in other people and situations. Talking to friends or family about how we talk can be really eye-opening. It's a bit like someone holding up a mirror so you can see yourself from a new angle. They might help you notice things about your words you didn't see before, encouraging you to choose words that feel good. Believing in yourself that you can make this change is super important. It's knowing deep down that you can grow a beautiful garden where there used to be just a patch of dirt. Keeping that faith in yourself is key to turning your words around. 
How about setting a small fun goal? Maybe try saying one extra nice thing each day. It's like adding a new bright color to your daily painting, and soon, your words will start to paint a more cheerful picture all by themselves. Remember, it's totally okay to slip up now and then. Nobody learns to dance without stepping on a few toes. What matters is that you keep trying, learning from each little stumble. Looking up to people who always seem to say the right, uplifting thing can be really inspiring. It's like having a guide showing you the path to sunnier conversations. You can learn a lot just by listening to how they turn their words into little beams of light. And don't forget about saying thank you and noticing the good stuff around you. Practicing gratitude is like filling your speech with sunshine. When you're busy thinking about what you're thankful for, there's less room for the cloudy words to come out. By giving these tips a try, you'll start to notice your words sounding more positive and hopeful. It's not just about avoiding saying certain things. It's about changing how you see the world and sharing that brighter view with others. As we all get better at this, we'll find our chats and thoughts filled with more light and joy. And that's something that can make a big difference, not just for us, but for everyone we talk to. Let's use our words to build a happier, kinder world, one sunny word at a time. Six, personalization and visualization in transformative speech. When we chat with someone, making our words feel special and vivid can really light up the conversation. It's like when you talk, you're not just sharing thoughts, but painting a picture or giving a gift that's just right for the person you're talking to. Let's take a walk through how making our words more personal and full of life can truly touch hearts and minds. Imagine you're talking to a friend. Using their name or bringing up things they love shows you really see them. It's like when you pick out the perfect present for someone, knowing it's just their style. This makes your words feel like they're wrapped up just for them. Now, think about telling a story so clear that your friend can almost see it happening. You might talk about a place or a moment in a way that makes them feel like they're right there. This magic trick with words helps what you say stick in their mind because it's bright and full of color. When you mix in details that matter to your friend, like their favorite places or things they dream about, it's like adding sparkles to your story. If you know your buddy loves stars, you might describe a night sky glittering with stars just for them. It's personal because it's about what they love, and it's like a painting made of words. Chatting becomes way more fun when it's filled with these personal, colorful details. It's the difference between a plain gray day and one where everything's in bright, happy colors. This way, everyone feels more connected and the chat stays with them longer. Asking questions that get your friend to imagine or share their own colorful stories is like opening a treasure chest of their thoughts. It turns the conversation into a two-way street, with both of you adding your own colors and sparkles to the chat. Telling your own stories with details that make them come alive, like how the wind felt on your face or the smell of rain on the ground, invites your friend to step into your world. It's a way to share not just the story, but the feeling of being there together. Believing that your words can light up someone's imagination is powerful. It's knowing that with the right mix of words, you can brighten someone's day or help them see things in a new, hopeful way. This belief is what makes your words glow. Practicing seeing vivid pictures in your own mind can help you get better at sharing them. Just like daydreaming or imagining stories can make your own world of thoughts colorful, it helps you paint better word pictures for your friends. Listening closely when others talk gives you hints about what lights them up. It's like being a detective looking for clues about what makes their story special. Then, you can use these clues to make your words feel like a gift made just for them. Encouraging your friend to picture happy endings or cool solutions to their worries is a superpower. It's a way to use your words to shine a light ahead, showing them there's always a path through tough times, bright and clear. By adding these personal touches and bright images to our chats, we turn our words from just sounds into bridges that connect us, heart to heart. It's not only about the stories we tell, but how we make people feel, seen, and understood. 
let's try to sprinkle a bit of this magic into our everyday talks. Imagine your words as gifts, painting each conversation with bright, happy colors. This way, we're not just talking, we're making every chat a little celebration, connecting and brightening the world one word at a time. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. Psychological and Neurological Changes Through Right Speech When we choose to say nice things, it's like we're giving our brain a super healthy snack. Speaking kindly, both to others and ourselves, can actually change the way our brain works. It's like turning a gray, cloudy day into a sunny one, just with our words. Let's explore how using kind words can do some pretty amazing things inside our heads and hearts. Think of your brain like a garden. If we use words that aren't so nice, it's like letting weeds grow everywhere. But when we use happy, kind words, it's like planting beautiful flowers and taking care of them. Over time, our brain garden looks more like a blooming paradise than a weedy patch. This doesn't happen super fast, but with a little bit of care each day, we can really change how our garden looks. These kind words can make us feel happier and less worried about stuff. When we talk about things in a positive way, especially hard things, it's like we're cheering ourselves on. It makes big problems seem smaller and easier to handle, like turning a mountain into a little hill. Talking nicely can also light up parts of our brain that help us understand how other people feel. It's as if we suddenly get a map that shows us what's going on with someone else, making it easier to connect and be a good friend. When we get into the habit of saying nice things, our brain gets better at pausing before we say something we might wish we hadn't. It's kind of like learning to stop and think before we eat too much candy, which helps us make choices that are better for us in the long run. Using kind words a lot can even make us feel more sure of ourselves. Every time we say something encouraging, it's like we're telling ourselves, you've got this. This helps us believe in ourselves more, making us feel taller and stronger. Our brain also gets better at focusing and thinking clearly when we cut down on the negative talk. It's like cleaning a super messy room so we can find what we need without tripping over stuff. This makes it way easier to do homework, solve problems, and get things done. Talking in a kind and understanding way can make our friendships and family relationships stronger too. It's like building bridges that make it easy to visit each other, even when things get a bit tricky. Feeling happier and more connected to people can actually make our bodies work better. We might sleep more soundly and get sick less often. It's as if our body is giving us a big thumbs up for all the positivity. As we keep using kind words, we start to spread the good vibes around. It's like when one person smiles, and then everyone starts smiling too. Our nice words can encourage others to speak kindly as well, creating a ripple effect of happiness. By choosing to use kind and positive words, we're not just making right now a bit brighter. We're changing ourselves for the better, on the inside and outside. It's amazing how much we can brighten our own day and everyone else's, just with the words we choose to use. Let's keep filling our brain garden with beautiful flowers by speaking kindly and watch as the world around us starts to bloom in the most wonderful ways. 8. Speaking Truth in a World of Illusions In a world where it's sometimes hard to tell what's real and what's not, being someone who speaks the truth is like being a guiding light. Let's find out how we can be that light and why it's so important. First off, Telling the truth starts with being honest with ourselves. It's like looking in a mirror and seeing everything clearly, without pretending. This helps us understand our own thoughts and feelings better, making it easier to be real and open with others. When we tell the truth, we build trust. Think of it like building a bridge. Every true word we say is like adding a strong block to the bridge, making it safe and strong for everyone. But speaking the truth can be tough, especially when it feels like we're swimming against the current. Yet, choosing to be honest, even when it's hard, is like walking on a path lit by the stars. It might be a bit darker, but it leads us to something truly beautiful. 
Telling the truth also makes things less confusing for everyone. In a world full of mix-it-up messages, being someone who speaks clearly and truthfully is like being a calm, clear voice in a noisy room. It helps everyone understand what's really going on. And, when we're honest, we encourage others to be honest, too. It's like starting a wave of truth. One person's honesty inspires others, and soon, there's a whole group of people shining bright with truth. But, it's important to be kind with our truth. We can be honest without hurting feelings. It's like giving someone a rose. You can hand them the beautiful flower without letting them get pricked by the thorns. Listening to others is also a big part of being truthful. Sometimes the truth we need to hear isn't from us, but from someone else. Listening to their truth can help us see the world in new ways. Being honest makes us question things and look for real answers. Instead of just accepting everything as it is, we learn to dig deeper and ask, is this the truth? It's like being a detective, searching for clues to find out what's really real. Truth also helps us solve problems. When we're open about what's wrong, we can start fixing it together. It's like showing where the road is damaged so it can be repaired for everyone's journey. Lastly, by living truthfully, we set an example for others, especially kids who are watching how we handle a world that can be pretty confusing. It shows them how valuable it is to be honest and lights a path for them to follow. By choosing to speak the truth, we're doing something really special. We're not just sharing facts, we're making the world a bit clearer, brighter, and more real. Let's keep shining our lights, guiding ourselves and others toward the truth, and making the journey through life safer and more beautiful for everyone. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. Harnessing Speech for Healing and Reconciliation Words can be like magic when it comes to fixing friendships and making people feel better. Imagine if what we say could be as comforting as a big, warm hug. Let's talk about how we can use our words to heal and make peace, spreading kindness one chat at a time. Knowing that our words are powerful is the first step. Just like a gentle touch can make someone feel loved, our kind words can help heal hurt feelings and mend relationships. It's like choosing to be soft and careful because we know our words can really touch someone's heart. Being a good listener is super important. When we really listen to someone, it's like we're telling them, I see you and you're important. This can mean the world to someone who's feeling down or left out. It's like opening a window to let in some sunshine on a cloudy day. Saying I'm sorry when we mess up shows we care and want to make things right. It's not always easy, but it's a big step in healing a friendship. It's like putting a bandage on a scrape to help it heal faster. Being honest, but gently, helps a lot. Even if the truth is tough, sharing it kindly can clear up a lot of confusion and help everyone understand each other better. It's like cleaning off a dirty window so we can all see through it clearly again. Opening up about our own feelings invites others to do the same. It's like making a cozy, safe spot where everyone feels okay to share what's on their mind and in their heart. This honesty can bring people closer and start the healing. Forgiving someone can lift a heavy weight off both your shoulders. It's hard to stay mad or sad when we choose to let go of those feelings. It's like setting down a heavy backpack we've been carrying for too long. Kind words can light up someone's day. Telling someone you believe they can get through tough times can give them hope. It's like watering a thirsty plant and watching it perk up and grow. Using we instead of you or I shows you're in this together. It's not just one person's problem. You're a team working to fix things. It's like holding hands and jumping over a puddle together. Sometimes being quiet together is the best way to heal. Just being there for someone without needing to talk can be really comforting. It's like sitting quietly with a friend, just being together and feeling okay. Reminding someone of their strengths and happy times can give them hope. It's like showing them pictures of sunny days during a storm, helping them remember the good times and that things will get better. By using our words to heal and make peace, we're doing something really special. 
It takes patience and a lot of caring, but together, we can make our world a happier and more peaceful place. It's all about choosing to spread kindness and understanding, one conversation at a time. Let's make our words a bridge to a kinder world. 10. Encouragement for Engagement The Community's Role Getting everyone excited to help out in our neighborhoods is like throwing a big party where everyone's invited to make things better together. Let's dive into how we can all cheer each other on to join in and make our places nicer for everyone. Showing off the good stuff that happens when we all chip in is a great start. It's like before and after photos of a garden. When people see how messy it was, and then how pretty it looks with flowers and clean paths, they might think, hey, I want to help make that happen too. Sharing stories and pictures of community projects can really light up that spark to get involved. Saying a big thank you for even the small helps is really important. It's like giving a high five for every little win. This makes everyone feel like they're part of the team and even small acts like picking up litter or painting a bench mat are a lot. Making community projects fun is a key. Imagine turning a cleanup day into a game or having snacks and music while working on a project. It turns hard work into a fun day where everyone can laugh, share stories, and enjoy being together. Setting up easy ways for folks to jump in and help makes a big difference. If there's a list of simple things to do, everyone can find something that fits what they're good at or like to do. It's like having a menu of choices so everyone can pick their favorite dish. Listening to what people really care about in the community helps point use in the right direction. It's like using a tree sure map to find the gold. When projects are about things that everyone really cares about, more folks are likely to come out and lend a hand. Teaching new skills during these projects can be a bonus. Maybe it's learning how to plant flowers, paint a mural, or fix up a bike. It's a chance to try new things, and who doesn't like learning something fun and useful? It's like every project is a mini-adventure where everyone gets to learn and teach. Teaming up with local businesses or schools can make our projects even bigger and better. It's like when superheroes join forces. Maybe a local store can give some supplies, or a school can send students to help. It's all about working together to make something great. Talking about what we're doing on social media or in the local news can get even more people to notice and maybe join in. It's like using a megaphone to tell the whole neighborhood, hey, come see what we're doing and be a part of it. Staying positive and keeping things going even when it's tough, shows everyone that sticking with it is worth it. It's like watering a plant and waiting for it to flower. It might take time, but the results will be beautiful. Dreaming together about how amazing our community can be if we all pitch in is really motivating. It's like drawing a picture of a place where every corner is clean and bright and everyone feels happy and safe. This big dream can encourage us all to roll up our sleeves and make it come true. By cheering each other on and getting stuck in, we're knitting our community closer and making it a happier place to live. It's about finding joy and working together and seeing how much we can achieve when we all pull in the same direction. Let's keep the spirit high, offer a hand, and show what we can do together. Conclusion We've been chatting about how powerful our words can be, like magic seeds that can grow into something beautiful. Every nice thing we say can help fix problems, make people happy, and create a friendlier world for everyone. We found out that simple words like please and thank you, telling the truth, and saying sorry when we mess up can make a big difference. Our words can lift someone's spirits, make hard times feel a little easier, and help us all get along better. When we all chip in, listening and talking kindly, we can make our communities, schools, and homes much happier places. It's amazing how the little things we say and do can add up to a lot of happiness. Every time we choose kind words, listen well, and speak up for what's right, it's like we're spreading a little bit of everyday magic. So, let's keep using our words to do good things. Think of ourselves as gardeners, planting kindness and care wherever we go. Like in a garden, we need to look out for each other, help each other out, 
and make our surroundings a place where everyone can bloom. Thanks for coming along on this adventure. Let's not stop talking, listening, and making a positive impact, one word at a time. Remember, every kind word you say lights up the world a bit more. Let's keep it shining bright with the magic of our words. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel.